So we're at Therapy Gate. Um, today, I went to the Grand Canyon Water Park here in Chiang Mai, and it absolutely kicked my butt. I spent all day there with about uh, four people, four guys from uh, Denmark. We took three scooters there, and I am dead dog tired right now. But I thought while I was here, why not film a YouTube video? So that's what I'm doing. So usually there's food vendors out here tonight, um, but not. They probably won't come out tonight because it's not Sunday. On Sunday, uh, there's something called Sunday uh, Night uh, Walking Street here. It actually ends here at the gate. It's behind the gate. There's a street that goes straight, and um, there's a huge market that only comes uh, on Sunday and at night. So this whole place is usually filled with uh, vendor carts. I don't understand why this wall is such a popular destination for photography. But it is. Look at that one. Like they just graduated college. Uh, Chiang Mai has a big university here called Chiang Mai University, and uh, students are graduating. And it's uh, tying up traffic here in the city pretty, pretty bad. But oh well, you know, you just have to deal with it. They only graduate once, so it's a huge accomplishment here. So yeah, Sunday night walking street. Um, this street straight ahead is shut down and uh, there's vendors all up up and down it and uh, in the alleys as well. And so let's go see uh, who else is here. More photographers. Even more. People say Chiang Mai is small, but Chiang Mai is not small, okay? I just drove across the city, it took me 20 minutes. I, would, I didn't even go all the way across the city. So, Chiang Mai is pretty big. I mean, it might be small for other cities in Southeast Asia, but to me it's big. <laughs> So technically it's illegal to feed the pigeons here. But they are. Look at that, look at that lady. She thinks she's the pigeon lady from Home Alone. Except she's Chinese and not homeless. Why the hell would you want pigeons all over you? I don't know. So it's mainly kids feeding the pigeons. Now you all know where bird flu came from. 
Watch out for that N1H1. Seriously. Ooh, there's a Ferrain. Quite a few ladies out here. But are they from China or are they Thai? Hmm. So, anyways, uh, I want to talk about Thai people in general. Thai people are extremely sweet and trustworthy, and not a single Thai person has been rude to me or tried to charge me extra or rip me off. Thai people, I have a lot of respect for them. They're very hardworking and they're very fair. So this is a moat. Something just jumped in the water, I don't know what it was. Rats don't go underwater, so. If you come here at night, uh, there's rats. Rat lots of rats, families of rats, just running up and down the streets. But this is a moat around Old City here in Chiang Mai and uh, it goes in a square. I don't know how long it is, but it's pretty long. I don't know the history of it. If you want to know more, go on Wikipedia. But it encircles the entire Old City, so it's quite large, I would say. Maybe five to ten miles of moat but it's a big square all around the city. So, that's all I know about the moat, is it goes forever and ever and ever, and it's a perfect square. Then you have some uh, soys, which are alleys. Let's go check out the people back at the gate. Foreign lady. Another backpacker. Look at that. Look at that huge backpack she has. That's nuts. I know people that, that can travel on one backpack. I'm not one of them, but I mean, I guess I am now that I have semi permanent home here. I went to Myanmar with one backpack. That wasn't too bad. I actually didn't use all of it either. But I can't pack my whole life in just one backpack. Oh, look at that. Do not feed the pigeons. Because they'll poo on you. I like to throw these uh, helicopter toys up in the air. I don't know what's going on with these flowers. Um, but it looks like it's bamboo with a whole bunch of potted flowers. And they're all individually potted, so that might, must have taken a long, long time. So, Thrappy Gate, if that's how you pronounce it, it's a pretty popular hangout place for foreigners, backpackers, and locals, and Chinese tourists. There's the bird lady again, taking selfies.
Man, she has pigeons crawling all over her. What the hell, bro? Who does that? Pigeons. She has pigeons crawling all over her. Like cats. Except they're pigeons. Sometimes you see uh, big packers down here and they're putting on like some type of show. Sometimes it's a freak show, sometimes it's a uh, musical show. And they ask for money. They're from a western country, but they're not employed. They're not a digital nomad. They don't make money online. They supposedly just travel Southeast Asia asking the locals for money. I don't give them money ever. If you don't have an online business or savings or something, why would you come here? Don't ask other people to finance your trip. Now if you're living here and you're down on your luck and you get stuck. That's another story, right? But don't come backpacking through here asking local people and other expats for money. People usually record them or take pictures and put them on Facebook. So just be warned. But yeah, this is pretty much the scene here tonight. It's 6.30 uh, p.m. here in Chiang Mai. On Tuesday, there's a Starbucks, there's a McDonald's, there's a pharmacy. This is what it looks like. Alright guys, this video is getting a little long, so uh, I'm going to skadoodle on out of here. I'm going to bike home, upload this video to YouTube. You guys can see the, the scene here.